Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 63. I am your host, the, super ge the Stupid Genius 55. I have to stop saying stupid. And today we're going to take on the third level, which I accidentally did second, Chief Chili. And this is not the same Chief Chili from Mario 64 DS. This is a different kind of character. It's, it's kind of weird. You're the le ice block maze. Chief Chili awaits anyone who dares challenge him. Who knows? Maybe he, the reward for beating him is a shine sprite. Again, how does Eddie know all this? Well, that, I, mean, I know it's standard, like, boss, you know, fair, but... Yeah, as you, you you just go all the way to the left. You can also go, like, all the way to the right, but obviously this is much quicker, and I've already shown you the snowman's head, so... You know, just go to the right the snowman's head, which, if you don't remember, is all the way to the right. So, we do... We definitely want Flood for this. It is very helpful. And we also have ourselves a star coin in here. Now... Let's see if I can do this without being... Ah! I thought I could... Whoa, I, I got hit a bunch of times. Okay. I also briefly took my hands away from the controls for a second, so... Yeah, considering about to fight a boss, I kind of think we maybe want to heal up a bit first. The Ice Block Maze should have some healing stuff. Um... Kind of rock that's a uh, place that I found kind of difficult yet. Oh, you, you could have just gone up here? Oh, no, you couldn't have. Yeah, no. Okay, I thought I could have gone up there to get the star, the shine sprite, but nope. Yeah, so we're basically just ready for Chief Chili. Um. Alright. <clears throat> ha, you fell into my trap. What trap? There, it's just you here. If you want to get the shine sprite, you'll have to throw me off this platform. Yeah, okay, thank you for telling me exactly what to do. Wow, this is... Oh, this is easier than I remember. Whoa, okay. I think, I mean, just do what I'm doing. Just go to the right. If you don't have Flood for this fight, um, I'm just gonna stop using Flood here. Oh, no, wait, uh, this time I'll actually stop using Flood. No, no, okay. Um, yeah, for last one here. I guess self-imposed... Maybe you are intended to see him with, to, I mean, to do him in with, uh, blood, um, and also if you bang him on the head, like, it, it sends him off quite a bit, so. Yeah, I can do it without blood. It's doable. It is a bit more, it's a bit more difficult, and to be honest, this isn't a very interesting boss fight, all things considered, so. Not to mention, if you're running low on health like I was, you can just, you can easily just walk off and come right back. You know, like, for instance, if you wanted to go just back to the, uh, snowman's head here, um, and this guy's, uh, this guy's completely doable, um, like, w even before you, you know, I, I know what, what I'm messing about back here, but, <laughs> Chief Ch Chili's completely doable even outside, he came back? What? What? No, 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 no. What? Okay, then you're gonna take my advice and go heal up. Be right back. Yeah. What? I got knocked off from the beginning. What? No, 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 no. If I lose to Chief Chili, <laughs> he is such an easy bo boss that if I lose to him, I will. I, I cannot. I I'm gonna have to quit doing this let's play if I lose to him. And no, I, I don't care that I'm jinxing it. He is that easy. Even in a let's play, I am not scared of jinxing it. Like, Okay, good, I got him. I can't believe it happened, but then again, when you walk off screen, their regular enemies also respawn, but they don't give you a star afterward. I mean, they don't give you a coin afterward if you've already defeated them. But we have the Chief Chili mission done. I suppose next we'll take on the 8-coin mission. The 8-coin mission's actually a lot easier than this, and it wasn't bob on Battlefield, weirdly enough. Um... Let's go. There, cause uh, things you can find three in one area and five in another area. So basically, they're all in the same sort of area. These penguins, by the way, can also be kind of annoying. Um, but spinning, it, spin attacking them does. You know, it accomplishes tasks. Um, so going back up here, this is where they're gonna be. If you remember from my first episode, I showed you that this uh. This wing cap here. Now you can do it the hard way, but well, I didn't do it the hard way, um, because I'm about to do it the easier way. I mean, it's still kind of annoying here, but you know, it's e 
What? I, I said that you can, since this cannon also has a little wing cap, you can use this. It, 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 you can make it a little bit easier on yourself. Let me collect it again. Um, this can be kind of hard to control, so I'd recommend, you know... Wait, by collecting 30 time store coins, a time paradox appeared. You now have negative three shine sprites. Just kidding, you've unlocked the cave tile set. Um, thank you, game. But, um, yeah, as you can see, the flying mechanics in this game aren't exactly the easiest to use. So, getting the red coins in here can be a bit of a pain if you don't use the can in here. Except now I just lost my wing... Well, I was about to lose my wing cap immediately after I went in the cannon, so I guess we don't... We, uh, I was saying we don't really have... Now, let's just go back and get this red coin. And as you saw, by the, I also got the star coin. Um, now... So we can go in here and... And all I have to do is just get this star, this uh, red coin, I mean. I keep calling these red ones star coins. So now that I painstakingly uh, collected all those red coins... By the way, shooting yourself in a cannon and flying over to the right won't help you, really, because all I have to do is just climb up here. And also, if you try to go to the left of, the, of, that, of our start screen, no matter what altitude you go at, you'll still arrive in the same area on the left side of Chief Chili's place, so... And it's really not going to help you towards the right either, so don't think that can's really useful. It just makes things slightly easier to get the red coins, because you don't have to... It makes it so that, you know, you don't have to do another triple jump uh, every single time you lose. Please don't tell me I lose my red coins by dying. I've never died before, so... I don't really know. Good. Well, yeah, I think I have... Yeah, I, I have died before, but not while I was collecting the eight red coins, so... Um, now all I have to do is just, uh, go here, and this star, sling star, I mean, will take us to this area. The rest of the, the other five star, the red coins are all on this area here, it's kind of weird. Um, let's see what this sign has to say. Oh, it's just a map, whoops. Down here, and, uh, well, you'll need to use these platforms to get back up here, to this one. I got a 1-up, apparently. Um, yay. This looked like it might... Th this ground here may look like a background, but it is but it is actually, you know, foreground. But we our last uh, red coin is located there, so all I have to do is just go down to the shine sprite and, we'll be, and we end the level. And... What was I going to say? I don't remember. We do, and we have one more mission we can complete here in Snowman's Land. So let's just... The backyard of the castle is open up. Maybe you can visit Peach's Garden. There might be a Shine Sprite there. Yeah, I wonder if... if it, if it I wonder if there will be a Shine Sprite. Now, the secret of the igloo. Not a very well-kept secret. In fact, it's even easy... Considering there's an arrow pointing you to the, the igloo on your first mission... This is actually much easier than Mabom Battlefield's Secret Star. And I found that by accident as well. Let's go. So yeah, these aren't exactly the most... Um... <laughs> well kept... It's not exactly that hard to decipher. As you can tell. No, I bet you thought it was easy, but... That's beside the point. Oh, we have... Did I just not get a coin from that Goomba for no reason? Yeah, okay, that, that's a good game. Oh, oh yeah, there's a coin. Okay. Because I just got the coin. Good. For a second there, I thought I might have just been withheld from that coin for no reason. But, okay, um... Yeah, this game can kind of glitch out on enemies. Like, if they're near walls... If you didn't notice, I just got attacked. Um, I just got attacked by an enemy. Like, I, I was hugging the wall, then I, and, thus, and I took damage from an, from an enemy already, uh, at the wall. So, uh, like, who's, who's on the ceiling? Uh, I mean, who's above the cliff? I'm on the side of a cliff, hugging it, and the enemy on the cliff, uh, gave me damage. Uh, now, uh, the igloo's just up around here, if I remember correctly. I forgot to get flood. Okay, that's kind of... 
I've never forgotten Float on any other trip, by the way, so that's kind of weird of me. Don't tell- Do I need Flood to get up here? Does the one time I, f I need Flood, the one I- Did I seriously forget Flood the one time I needed him here? Are you serious? Oh. Damn. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright, now I'm back with Flood. Yeah, uh, cut, so... It, it's kind of weird. You don't really notice how much you need Flood until you forget to bring it. Uh, especially if there are areas that, you know, you don't... That you kind of need. But, yeah, the igloo is really noticeable. Kind of funny that I was talking about how easy the secret is, and then I wasn't able to get there, but... You do lose Flood if you get Metal Mario. And it tells the Metal Cap is impervious to fire. This is a weird, uh, mission, sort of. Not just short, sort of. It is a weird mission. I'm gonna show you why. You have to get the metal cap to go over here. And you actually have to... You have, and of course, you will sink if you... You can't swim while Metal Mario. Mario you will s sink if you... The only thing, time you come close to swimming is if you get hit by an enemy. Then you, for some reason, are being propelled. I don't know. Now this in You can also get the invisibility cap here, and I need this coin. You can get this invisibility cap here, which will allow you to walk through those walls. Now, you won't be able to walk up to the star because you can't stand on the platforms. You just fall right through them. So what you have to do is you have to go here into this sling star, go all the way back. For some reason, uh, it, it takes me through those two stars. I don't know what this one uh, is called. Um, I, I get it. And I accidentally collected the invisibility cap again. That means I have to restart this. Yeah, that can be a bit annoying. Um, so yeah, if you go back through here, this sling star. Actually, I'm gonna see if there's no nothing down here. Okay, for second I thought. Um, yeah, those two. Uh, I forget what they're called. Um, I've only played uh, up to these two levels. I should probably mention so. And that's in preparation for the specific L. This specific LP, I actually did this game. The last time I did this was like, I think like five years ago, I, I went through this game. If I remember correctly. But that's pretty much all we can do in the snowman's land, aside from a star coin or two. Or did I miss any star coins? I'm gonna check. Um, you can check here at the star map if you don't remember. Uh, let's go to star coins. Nope, we got everything in snowman's land, see? Alright, uh, I'll see you guys next time.